Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome back to another viewer match. Now what I got for you today is a gold league game of Zerg versus Zerg, where apparently one of the players is already sending out two drones uh, to the other side of the map at like the... Three drones to the other side of the map at like the 10 second mark? Um, uh, spawning here in the bottom right hand corner of the map and playing with the red drones. We are currently looking inside of the main base of Dropped Baby, who I guess is going for a gold base first? Then what are the other drones doing here? Is he gonna go for a gold base first? I mean, he's had 300 minerals Yeah. Alright, fair enough. And his opponent spawning in the opposite corner. He's playing with the blue Zerg drones, and he goes by the nickname of Drew's Nuts. And he's in Clan Y Cry. Um, now the two drones are making... They're making their way inside of the main base of the opponent. What? You guys can't see it, I'm face palming right now in real life. What are you even... Tr What's the point? What are you doing with the... Is he trying to create a smiley face here? Like, what? what's going on? All right, so two evolution chambers and a hatchery at the gold. Yeah, this looks like a gold-based game of Zerg for- or a gold league game of Zerg for the Zerg to me. Another drone apparently is feeling brave enough. This one is also gonna make its way across the map and apparently try and mine from the golden minerals. Now, of course, Drew's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Just followed up the very quick spawning pool with three overlords here. He's got another overlord that is not being sent across the map either. So he very likely won't find out about this gold base for at least another little while. A couple of drones are also pulled off the line, which interestingly enough are actually gonna pay for the cost of these evolution chambers. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> the lost mining time here, right? A drone mines for like 0.8 minerals a second. Oh man, here's the drone train. Taking one of those, you know, defending drones, I suppose, what we can Is that another one? Oh my god, what's even going on right now? I have no idea. Anyways, the amount of lost mining time right there is definitely very, very significant. But while the distraction is happening inside of the main base of Drew's nuts... He is not aware of the fact yet that his opponent is mining those juicy golden minerals. And even right now, that spawning pool is also being constructed right at the gold base. Now, I don't think he really needs to even focus down any of those evil chambers. I mean, the evolution chambers really do not achieve anything. I guess a couple more zerklings right here will be created as well by Dropped Baby. This is uh, one of the sickest distraction tactics I've ever seen, though, because Drew's nuts is so busy inside of his own main base that he hasn't even bothered thinking about what his opponent could be doing here at the exact same time. There we go. Finally, a couple... Nope! <laughs> couple Zerklings did decide to pop out of the hatchery, but immediately they also turned back around to go after the evolution chamber instead. Now, the natural here will finish up here eventually, but Drop Baby already does have a pretty nice amount of Zerklings here as well. Uh... Uh... Wait... <laughs> is he ki Wait, 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 is he attacking... Well, he's attacking two hatcheries at once at the very least, but he's attacking his own old main base. Um... So is this like the weirdest distraction strategy ever? Because at the same time, he's also taking the, the, the second gold base. And I guess eventually when Drew's nuts makes his way across the map, he's gonna find nothing. Because I think by the time, yeah, if these, if these larvae pop, he's gonna find absolutely nothing. Um, <laughs> these are some next level distraction strategies. I guess Drop Baby right here is just simply trying his very hardest to be as strange as possible. Now Drew apparently felt inspired though by seeing those Evo Chambers. He started one of his own as well. Banelings are overrated. All he needs is plus one melee. And that's exactly what he's getting right now as well. Drop Baby though, feeling just a little guilty, decided to sacrifice some of his own Zerklings as well while getting himself a stupid amount of spine crawlers. Now, that second hatchery is just about to finish up. And while the main base absolutely has no trace left, I think all of that creep is gonna be dissipated here in just a little bit. Link speed is just about to finish. I think Drew's nuts may very well move across the map. I kinda, I kinda wanna have a camera on his face right now. 
only to see what he looks like when he finds out there's nothing inside of his opponent's main base. I hope he's gonna go there. Come on, link speed is done. I guess he might very well be waiting until plus one melee. Regardless, here we go. Will he see any creep? Ooh, if he sends them just like that, he, no, he won't be seeing the first of the gold bases. Will he be seeing the second? <laughs> he won't. <laughs> he's gonna move to the other side of the map and find absolutely nothing. Well, he found one overlord. If an overlord can... <laughs> if an overlord can look smug, I'm pretty sure that's that's what that one was doing right there. Oh my god, I can almost see the confusion right here on these zerklings. Dropped, uh, drop baby completely disappeared off the face of the earth. Drew's nuts is probably scratching his head right now, trying to figure out if this is a four-player map after all. <laughs> Eventually, though, he should be able to find, at the very least, this hatchery over here, right? Oh, 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 yeah, there you go. He found some of the creep. Well, I mean, if he's paying attention. If he's paying attention, he should have noticed the creep there. Uh, well, I guess if he's not turning... There we go. He is gonna turn around, and he is gonna be able to go after that hatchery as well. But Drew's baby is still mining those golden minerals. Now... If there's one, uh, one downside of having a gold base, right, it is the fact that... Oh, man, that was a pretty juicy hit there. Uh, but um, it is the fact that you do mine out the resources very quickly. You can see that these rich mineral fields are already falling. Drop baby, though. Completely oblivious to what is going on right here at his second gold base. is just simply gonna send a hit squad of Bailings up the... Ra oh, no, 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 my... Oh, my God. I swear, every single low league Zerk vs. Zerk that I have casted, or I guess lower league, gold is not very low anymore at all, but... It just always ends with Zerkling massacres. The, the way we get there is different, though, but... Oh, no. C come on. C come, no, come... Okay, well... <laughs> that didn't really achieve very much, although now the slow Zerklings are coming up as well. Keep in mind, plus one melee does make these Zerklings in blue way, way more powerful. So they should actually be able to clean this up, although sometimes it's just simply a numbers game, right? That Queen is gonna try and help out as well. At the same time, these Zerklings, uh, they have managed to kill that base. They do still not know where the opposing player is actually located. And right now, with two of these uh, Zerklings, or three of these Zerklings rather, left over, they're gonna be able to go after the mineral line, and they just actually got a whole bunch of worker kills. All things considered, our Zerk player in red here, oh my god, he's still looking. He still hasn't found it. He's still looking for that base, and he still has not found it. I mean, there's a thousand spine crawlers there anyway at this point. He's not really going to be able to achieve all that much. A whole lot of bailings are being morphed in, though. That is a whole lot of them that will likely... Well, I, yeah, they will finish. Just right-click him to the middle line again. Oh, did you just really check out another base? He's, like, checked every single base except the second gold. And I guess, well, while he spotted the creep right now, he's busy trying to deal what with uh, or what with uh, or what is going on right here inside of his main base. Queen will come out here once again, and eventually, the links do turn around and they found the red hatchery. So, drop baby, is he gonna be able to close this one out? I mean, a lair is like the last building you need right now, Drew. I don't think you want it. I don't think you want it. With these Bane Links providing so much value, I think that Drop Baby may very well be able to just walk into that mineral line and blow it all up. Oh my god. Zero drones remain for Drew. And in one of the most awfully played games I have ever seen, somehow, someway, <laughs> Drop Baby distracted his opponent enough to take both of the gold bases and right- Are you- <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's retaking his old main base. I guess this is going to be the last base that Drew would ever check. The sickest distraction strategies, and while apparently Drew did try to make a couple drones once again, and while they are desperately trying to harvest some of those minerals, it looks like the main hatchery of Drew may very well fall here. I mean, there's another group of Zerklings coming up, but I don't think it's gonna be really enough here whatsoever. Another gold base will be taken here as well, and Drop Baby is not gonna slow down on the aggression. He left one bailing behind, a couple links, or two bailings rather, and a couple links as well. I like that though, using the hotkeys to his advantage, but the main hatchery of Drew's nuts fell. 
And that does mean that Dropped Baby, in a very, very strangely played game, is the one who <laughs> obtains the victory. Next level distraction strategies. I mean, how is your opponent ever gonna scout your gold base if you put a bunch of evos in his main? I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get a notification as soon as I upload more. A special shout out to the Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. But for now, I want to thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile all right. And I will see you once again in the next one.